My next patron question is from Jayon, who wanted to know about a certain musical's absence from Broadway. Of all the Disney animated films that were adapted to the stage, almost every single one of them opened on Broadway, with the one exception being The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I don't understand why. From my standpoint, it has the best soundtrack of all the Disney animated films, to the point that I actually love the opening song, The Bells of Notre Dame, even more than The Circle of Life from The Lion King. On top of that, both the movie and musical have a huge size and scale to it, which will make it ideal for Broadway stage. And yet, despite having a decent premiere in Germany and doing very well at La Jolla Playhouse, it has never made it to Broadway. Why do you think this is? It is unusual that The Hunchback of Notre Dame has never made the transfer to the Broadway stage, and it's not like there have not been discussions about it. Both Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz said years ago they were working on taking the show to Broadway, and then nothing. It did play to a few American theaters, first at La Jolla Playhouse in California, and then the Paper Mill Playhouse in New Jersey. The latter, by the way, is where the stage version of Newsies premiered before its successful run on Broadway. Something that should be noted is that for the stage version, they included a lot more elements from the book. And if you thought the movie was one of Disney's darkest animated films, the stage show is even more so. Esmeralda dies at the end, and Frollo is made the Archdeacon of Notre Dame, like in the book. Even though the talking gargles were included in the German production, they were cut when the show was brought to the United States. What could play a role in Disney being seemingly uninterested in taking it to Broadway? It's possible the content within the show is something they object to. When parents with children go to New York City to see Disney musicals, there's an expectation there'll be something completely family-friendly and appropriate. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is reportedly a much darker show than Beauty and the Beast and The Lion King. Even the musical director of the show's Kansas production has said that it's more thoughtful and pensive rather than crowd-pleasing. Disney theatrical productions seem largely interested in giving people a nice night out, which is why they adapt movies like The Little Mermaid, Newsies, Mary Poppins, and Frozen. It also seems to me that Disney does not currently view The Hunchback of Notre Dame as one of the more popular titles. It feels like, because of the material of the animated film, it's not one they seem to acknowledge much, despite the following the movie does have. I myself have an immense fondness for the film. Case in point is the development of the live-action remake, which was officially announced almost five years ago, and it's been slow going since then. Mencken and Swartz were involved, along with Josh Gad and David Hoberman in producing roles. Gad was also a possibility to play Quasimodo. Some months ago, Mencken revealed that there was a little progress on the film, mainly due to concerns of how to handle the content of the story, which feels like code for Disney is nervous about how families will react. Mencken has said he is not interested in sanding off the edges and removing the darker, more thematic elements. And Steven Swartz has recently said he does not expect the remake to happen anytime soon, if at all. Meanwhile, Disney's been having an underwhelming year at the box office, and there's probably so much evaluating going on in Burbank over which movies should be the ones to enter production. Right now, it also appears like the Hercules, Moana, and Lilo and Stitch remakes are further along in the pipeline than Hunchback, as those are safer remakes. But back to the stage version, what is one way Disney could take the show to Broadway? One idea is they could just remove the Disney name from the branding, so families don't think it's something nice to take their children to. Basically, the equivalent of when a Disney movie was released under the Touchstone Pictures label if they felt it was more appropriate under that name. But then Disney might think, but if we don't put out branding on there, how will we attract fans of the movie? Something that would be neat to do is they could film a big professional production and release a pro shot on Disney+. Plus. The stage musical version of DreamWorks' The Prince of Egypt never made to Broadway either, but the West End production was recorded and released in theaters for a limited time and later digitally. Whatever Disney's reasoning is, I do think it's a shame that The Hunchback of Notre Dame has not been given a bigger theatrical presence, only having been performed in four countries. It may not have the popularity of A Beauty and the Beast or Frozen, but there's still plenty of people who would love to see it. Thank you for your question, Jayon.